Just to say, they've got a history of golden goals. Aston Villa failed to capitalise on the European Cup success of the previous year, but they did make it through to the quarter-finals of the FA Cup. With Shaw. Shaw again, with... Peter Witt scores his first goal of 1983, and so simple. A series of ricochets off Wolves players. I think Rudge at the end there couldn't quite control it. Shaw was in, Witt got a chance to shoot with his left foot to the left of Burridge, off the post and in. Uh, finished sixth despite a club record tally of 68 points. Next season, Tony Barton knew that he needed to achieve more. Here's Walters with the cross towards Smith! And Villa go into the lead! When it could have been a goal up for Wolves, Villa come roaring back, and Peter Wilde against his old club after a great run by Mark Walters. Lovely skill, Walters, Brian. Beautiful skill. Had a look up. So big Peter was there. Beautiful little chip. Cuts the goalkeeper out of it. And there's a big fella coming at the back post. No problem. With. Walter Vick. DC. And McMahon. And he's put that one in beautifully. That's a brilliant goal by Steve McMahon. Match-winning stuff. Maybe an opportunity here for Forrest. Well, Hart will be disappointed that he drifted the free kick too close to Mervyn Day, who's tried to set Villa forward with a lengthy clearance. Picked out right out. Birch, McMahon! Tony Barton's best hadn't been good enough. He was sacked after the club finished 10th in the league, had an early exit from the FA Cup and lost a League Cup semi-final against Everton. Manchester United manager Ron Atkinson was approached, but he turned the job down, staying at Old Trafford. And so, instead of that, it was the Shrewsbury Town manager Graham Turner who came to Villa Park to fill Tony Barton's shoes. Seeks to make his run inside, that's great, beautifully done, and Seeks, and with, off the line was it, over the line, a goal for Peter Witt from DDA Seeks, brilliant run, Aston Villa take the lead, and Seeks makes an early impression on the England stage. in there again, Alan Evans, oh he's there, Evans has scored, 2-0, and Manchester United looking round at the goalkeeper, he must have been unsighted. Oh, with right out, number three for Villa, right out scores. And the problem there was that when the corner came in from Cowens, Hogg seemed to miss it, Witt knocked it on, and right out had quite a lot of time in a game like this. Against Everton, it was Paul Birch who started this one on the wing, back to Williams, and his deep cross finds the right man, Peter With, so dangerous in the air and into the back of the net. Despite that, though, Villa lost against Everton 2-1. Paul Birch, a 
has put Aston Villa into an eighth, ninth minute lead. His first goal of the season for Aston Villa. And one that would leave the Arsenal defence looking around and wondered how on earth it happened. As Jennings came out, he lifted it over the head of the Arsenal keeper and Villa go into the lead. basically with players breaking from midfield as Gibson does should score and does so just as Hodge got through and wasted his opening for Forrest Colin Gibson passed on to the flick went round the goalkeeper his composure very well indeed and powered it past Hart who was trying to get back onto the line. McMahon, there we go waving Walters away. And a chance for right out. And that's the sign of a goal scorer who's very much in form. Paul Rideout top scored with 15 goals. In June he left for Bari with Gordon Cowens. Aston Villa again had finished 10th. Graham Turner had to make improvements to his side, and so Andy Gray returned to Villa Park from Everton for £150,000. He'd originally left Villa for Wolves, and Stephen Hodge and Simon Stainrod were to come to Villa Park, and they too part of the recovery process. Here we go. Gray going in. Oh, what a goal by Andy Gray! It came back so quickly. I think some of the crowd wanted from over and had gone in. He met that absolute bullet of a header. And that was the Andy Gray of old. What a finish then. Dorigo's cross was pinpoint. And watch here for Gray arriving. But the header there was so powerful. And Andy Gray, well, he had one disallowed earlier on. But he's made amends now. And that goal will give him tremendous pleasure. Stainron. Only persevere, and here's Hodge. Walters, it's there, he scored. It's 2 1. Oh, what a finish for him for now, with just a couple of minutes left. Mark Walters has scored for Aston Villa. The only play set up by Stainron. Hodge couldn't finish it, but Walters could. Villa finished 16th in Division 1, perhaps not good enough for a big club, and so Graham Turner and Villa parted company. Turner sacked in September after a 6-0 defeat against Nottingham Forest. It was Billy McNeil who was brought in to replace him, apparently paid £70,000 a year. Spink, long free kick, aimed towards Andy Gray, who was having a real tussle there with Steve Sims, and now Steve Hunt all the way through! themselves a slim lifeline in this game. A lovely touch there by Stainrod, and suddenly it's put Steve Hunt through under the body of Coton, and Villa are level at 1-1. That's what the Villa fans have been waiting so long for. Billy McNeil was sacked after only eight months in charge. The club was 22nd and bottom of Division 1. And so the Watford manager, Graham Taylor, came in. He was being paid £200,000 a year. The fourth Aston Villa manager in three seasons. Quite clearly, Aston Villa didn't belong in the second division. And so it was that Graham Taylor set about masterminding Aston Villa's promotion challenge. It's going to be great to take It's a goal from Martin Keogh. Former Arsenal defender on the end of the free kick. And the header loops over Hallworth. 
McAnally wrestling away from Redmond. And Daly with a clear chance, and it slipped away from Nixon. Tony Daly, who scored here against Manchester City last season in the first division, has bounced back into the limelight with a simple goal coming after Morley had missed at the other end. McAnally had got the run of the ball. Gallica trying to make City think. Oh, well played because Daly sent space. In comes Thompson. In February, David Platt was plucked from crew for a mere £200,000. He turned out to be one of Aston Villa's best ever signings, and he started off where he meant to continue. He scored five goals in his first 11 games for the club. David Platt was to make a very big name for himself indeed. Aston Villa finished second in Division 2 and so were promoted. What many people would have thought was Aston Villa were where they belonged in the first division once again. And David Platt was to be an integral part of the new Aston Villa team. A midfield man with a goal-scoring knack. Graham Taylor, the manager, had unearthed a diamond and he was going to be a part of Graham Taylor's new exciting Aston Villa team. And ironically, the first game of the season in the first division pitched Villa against the second division champions, Millwall. Oh, and uh, Dawes and Horn between them getting into a right mess and it's left McAdelli with the equaliser. Dear, oh dear. Delight for Alan McAdelli. A lot of speed in Aston Villa's forward play, and Tony Daly showing just that. He's past Winterburn, and McAnally has tucked it away. It's a high cross from Daly. O'Leary didn't get it very far. Alan McAnally's onside, and Arsenal stopped. Tony Daly, and Villa pouring forward with numbers again. Nichols across at him. Daly's won that back. And there are players arriving in the middle. McAnally's amongst them. Here's Gray. And here is McAnally. And Villa go in front. Andy Gray gets there first. On oh, his come for McAnally. They decide to feel the force of Alan McAnally's striking power this season. He's already got five goals now. David Platt, there might be another in the offing here for him, there is! And Villa lead by two. Price, to go back up to see if they can find another route in. Plenty of chart for men back now. Ooh, that's a mistake. McAnally, off the post. McAnally this time, and that's 1-1. One, one. McAnally didn't deserve to get through there, but credit for persistence. And an equaliser from it. Platt's first of the season. Gordon Cowans. McAnally, a bit of space for Price to get in, maybe. No, McAnally's going his own way. Page. Good play. Bringing Price in again. That's a lovely cross coming in. Oh, a spectacular goal by Daly. A stupendous Aston Villa goal there by their number seven, Tony Daly. More problems as the ball is played in and shot on the turn. And gloriously into the back of the net that time by Platt. And there was nothing Southall could do about it. Looking for a silky touch rather than an early cross. And McAnally. This is the sort of break that he's turning into his trademark. Platt is in the middle. McAnally taking on Bruce. And Gordon Cowens has equalised. 15 minutes into the second half. Aston Villa's supporters delirious with delight. Cowens knows the part that McAnally played. Poor mistake, and Daly has equalised. 
down, staging the free kick. Keown, Mountfield. It worked perfectly for Aston Villa. Smith beaten in the tackle. Here's Andy Gray. Nicely done, too. Oh, that's clever. Oh, and that's better. And that's a goal. McInerney. His 12th, but what a brilliant bit of work by Andy Gray. Cowens is Gray, and Kevin Gage is arriving. Oh, that's a screamer. Kevin Gage, 1 0 Villa. Butney getting himself into trouble and then confounding the error. That's a present for Gray. And Platt on the far post, 2 1 for Villa. Gage is arriving, left foot this time, and that's 3-1. Two for Kevin Gage. Andy Gray. Not many options. Oh, he didn't need any. All the way on his own. Andy Gray, only three minutes gone. And it certainly hit. Gray. McAnally was already pointing, he knew exactly what he wanted, and Gray delivered. Comes back to him. Ah, oh, McAnally, so strong in these positions, and he's made it tell again. His 16th of the season to make it 3 all. Rice with the header out, Cowan's jumping for it. It drops now for Gray, Andy Gray. Cowan's, McAnally through the centre with Parker. Did he use a hand there? It looked as though he did. But the goal is given. In the FA Cup, Villa beat Crew 3-2. David Platt gets the first. Stuart Gray's cross from the left. Headed out only as far as Kevin Gage. And that's the Villa second. Great finish. A lovely back heel from Ian Olney sets up David Platt. Goalkeeper does well, but there's Alan McAnally. Payne. Give it away. Andy Gray. One all. Daly. 2 1. Villa certainly in the ascendant now. Olney's cross and McAnally's finish. That's two in three minutes. Ormondroyd battling away. Over he goes, play waved on. Gage, Callaghan's on the far post, and Platt's in there. Was going in anyway, but Platt got a touch. McAnally made up some ground there. And Villa have equalised, and Ormondroyd claims it. A struggle for the header. Here's Gage. Flat. Gage again, no offside, Cowens, Charlton were looking to the linesman. Daly, and finding him, that's a good ball. Faced by Breaker. oh, he's rounding too comfortably, and scores! That's a marvellous goal by Daly. Callaghan, a game with far too much space. The substitute only arriving! 2-1 to Villa. Callaghan's free kick. Bodies. Stuart Gray got a foot in. His only previous goal this season was on opening day against Millwall. He's made it 1 0 here. Down the line for Platt. What can he do from here? Inside. And score! Oh, what a beautiful right foot. Made the most of that. Callahan. And all the way through to Olney, and into the net, 2-1. Knockback finds McAnally, and McAnally...